friends, welcome back to my channel. It is me, Alana. For this video, I am going to be doing the end of year tag. It's the end of the year. I do not know how this year went by so fast. Really, it feels like I haven't done anything, but it also feels like I've done everything. So it's wild. I'm gonna go ahead and start um, getting into these questions. Okay, so the first question is, are there any books you started this year that you need to finish? Yes. Um, I feel like this was the year that I had a lot of books that I started and didn't finish and maybe they're not a lot to everybody but they're a lot for me because I usually don't leave books unfinished most of the time but uh, I have four. So the first one I have is Spin the Dawn by Elizabeth Lim. Um, this is kind of like a Mulan telling about a girl who gets pulled into this like design competition for the kingdom and she's dis disguised herself as a man because only men can be tailors or designers or whatever in this world. I started this when I was driving to work one day because I needed an audio book um, to play and this was kind of one of the ones that caught my interest but then after that I kind of didn't continue listening so I haven't picked this one back up yet but I want to because I, it's not that I didn't love what I was reading listening to it was just time I guess. House in the Cerulean Sea by TJ Klune. This was another one that I was actually really enjoying reading. Uh, just at the time that I had started reading it, um, there's just a lot going on and so I put it down and I just haven't been able to pick it back up since. Um, but I want to because I know once I pick it back up I'll get back into it. Uh, so that's what I'm hoping to do soon. Um, but yeah. Uh, this is about a man. He works in the department in charge of magical youth. So he's basically like a social worker and he's given the task to go check on um, all the orphanages that house like magical children. And so the council gives him this one mission to go check on this orphanage that's in this like tropical island or something like that. And he does it and realizes that these children are extra special and he actually kind of starts to find like happiness in his life while being there so yeah all right next i have storm crow by kaylin josephson again this is another one where i was liking where it was going but i think i got anxious during one of the moments and i just put it down and i haven't come back to it yet um this one is about a girl whose kingdom um relies on these like magical crows as their like bird i don't know how to describe it like i guess in a way it's like their spirit bird their their companions the crows help their kingdom thrive whether it be helping with growing crops or protection or um i think purifying water they can do that too and uh, their na this neighboring kingdom comes in and wipes out all of their crows, which basically dooms the the, the kingdom um, to extinction. And along with the crows, the neighboring kingdom comes in and they kill this girl's mother, who are the queen of this um, kingdom. And so her and her sister are left to take charge of things. Um, and since she's the younger sister, her sister has to agree to a marriage alliance with the kingdom that basically ruined them. Um, so that way they have a chance to rebuild and um, live again. But before the girl leaves, she finds a crow egg that survived. And so she hides it away and she now has to figure out how to hatch it but also what kind of bird it is and she has to figure out um, if this crow can help her basically one get out of this marriage alliance she doesn't want to be in and to um, get revenge for her kingdom and the last book that I need to finish that I didn't really get super duper far in so it's fine but um, it's War Storm by Victoria Aveyard uh, I started this and then I just put it down because of whatever was going on um, but I do want to pick it back up because I would like to finally finish this series like I'm like I've made it all the way through so I might as well just 
push through and finish the fourth book partially because I want to see how this ends but also because I want to finish the series. <laughs> Since this is the fourth book I'm obviously not going to go into spoilers about the series but if you haven't read the Red Queen series um, it's about this girl named Mare who lives in this world where it's divided between red bloods and silver bloods. Silver bloods are like the high society, they have uh, magical powers, they are kind of the ruling um, citizens of this world, whereas the red bloods are the lower class. They do all the menial jobs that no one wants to do, they're the servants. Their blood is looked down upon. But one day Mare gets a job in the palace and accidentally is it's revealed that she has magical powers despite the fact that she is a red blood and so because of this discovery she's pulled into this political world with the kingdom and the the royalty so uh, they can figure out why it is she's this way and from there the series just goes on to be this huge political Thing. So those are the four books. Uh, next question is, do you have an autumnal book to transition into uh, the end of the year? So I always get confused about this question because I'm like, what does that mean? <laughs> but I'm just going to say any of the books I have on my shelves I could really just transition to. I'm not really worried about it I guess. Number three is, is there a new release you're still waiting for? Yes, so there's actually only one more book that comes out this year that I'm waiting for and that is The Damned by Renee Adier. That is the third book in um, the Beautiful series. I think, well it's a quartet I think now. Um, I've read The Beautiful and The Damned and I really love them both. I'm a little nervous about The Righteous because I know it takes place from Pippa's perspective, which is a whole other perspective from the previous two. Because um, I know the second book technically took place more from Sebastian's um, perspective than anybody else, but his perspective still included Celine, so the stories made sense still, um, continuing on from the first book. But with this third book, I don't really know how it's going to include everything from the first two books. Partially because you saw Pippa a lot in the first book since it was from Celine's perspective and her and Pippa were together all the time. But you really didn't see her much in the second book. And so I don't know how she's going to play a role in anything in the third book. <laughs> so it makes me a little nervous, but I'm still willing to give it a chance. Um, hopefully she'll give me the answers I need from the second book because there's like one question that I just need answered about a character because yeah I'm desperate. But number four what are three books you want to read before the end of the year? So I kind of just picked books at random that I've been wanting to read. The first one is Vespertine by Margaret Rogerson. Uh, this came out already this year but I would like to pick it up and check it out. I really haven't heard much about it, but I've heard a lot of good things about Margaret Rogerson as an author as a whole. So I kind of want to check it out and see where this could go. Next, I have the Hawthor Le Hawthorne Legacy by Jennifer Lynn Barnes. I meant to read this when it came out, but I've just been putting it off. I can't tell you why, but... I would like to pick this up at some point soon, especially because the third one comes out next year. So I would like to pick this up before then, like way before then. The last book I have is, so this is Christmas by Tracy Andreen. So I kind of just picked this up because it's a Christmas theme book and there aren't a lot of those I feel like out, at least none that have caught my interest. So I figured it would be nice to have like a seasonal book to read uh, before the end of the year since it's about to be Christmas and winter and everything. I believe this one, let's see, when Finley decides to go home to Christmas, Oklahoma for the holidays, the last person she expects to see there is Arthur Ch Chakrabarty Watercress, a fellow student at her New England prep school. Arthur is, Finley thinks, an uptight Brit who hardly knows she's, she exists. So why have Arthur and his aunt, Esha, chosen to spend Christmas at Grandma Jo's Hoyden Inn? If the greatly enhanced town website created by Finley to impress her snobbish classmates is to blame, how can she produce the perfect American Christmas experience their guests expect? Especially since she's reeling from some surprising revelations 
about her parents as well as about her former boyfriend and best friend. Old secrets and new romances, hilarious near disasters, and a Christmas miracle or two add to the fun as Finlay discovers that Arthur is, well, kind of hot. Get in the holiday spirit with Finley, Arthur, and all the folks of Christmas in this sparkling yuletide tale. I don't know, this just sounded cute, so. All right, number five. Is there a book you think could still shock you and become your favorite of the year? Um, I think any of the books could still shock me. I don't really have a specific one in mind that I think will change all my entire perspective of books this year, but I'm not gonna say no to that. Last question is six. Have you already started making reading plans for next year? Um, yes. So I don't know what's happened to me within the past two weeks or so, but I finally got the motivation to film and edit and actually work on my channel right now. And all year I feel like I've been in an idea slump where I just haven't been able to come up with ideas for new content or just content in general. But the past two weeks I've just been getting a lot of ideas mainly for vlogs but also just video ideas as well so I hope I can follow through on those <laughs> I hope this isn't just a fluke so yes I've been coming up with reading plans and channel plans and all that kind of stuff for next year so I pray this momentum stays with me because otherwise that's just sad all right so that is my end of your tag um hopefully you all enjoyed this video uh please like it down below if you did if you have any comments questions concerns please leave all that in the comments section um let me know what you're going to be trying to read this end of year or books that you're excited for for next year or i don't know just books you you're trying to get through uh, i want to talk to you about that and if you want to see more videos from me, please hit that subscribe button. You're all sunflowers in a world full of weeds.